since you stopped drinking. She hasn't said anything. She hasn't commented on anything at all? Um, no, not really. I mean, we, you know, had the same fights. Nothing's really changed as far as that goes. Mm hmm Okay. Okay. You know, I think she has the, she has some issue with, you know, this all has to do with the family she grew up in. Yeah. It doesn't have to do yeah. with, you know what I mean? Her father was a drunk, so. Okay. Okay. That's why her mother went to al -Anon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Her mother is never going to change her opinion of me. Okay. Her mother hates me. Okay. I've accepted that. Okay. Okay. But your wife is staying with you. Yeah. Yeah. What does your wife know about you that makes it worth her staying with you that her, her mother doesn't know about you? She probably, somewhere deep inside, probably believes me when I tell her that I've changed, that I'm, I'm not going to be that way anymore. Okay. I'm just thinking, sometimes I have to think about these things. Okay, so your wife believes you when you tell her some of these things. And, and then she goes and listens to her mother. And her mother gets her all riled up and yeah. AA and Al Anon and all of that yeah. stuff. <laughs> yeah, but even when her mother is telling her these things and getting her all riled up, something causes her to come back to you. She doesn't, she doesn't buy what her mother is telling her, just hook, line, and sinker. She comes back to you. Mm -hmm. What does she know about you that, I mean, maybe you don't even know this about yourself yet. What does she know about you that causes her to keep coming back to you? Well, she probably knows that I, you know, she's seen in my life that I have a, I make up my mind to do something and I do it. Oh, so you... Can, I've, I've, I, can you tell me about one of those things that she has seen? That I mean, I I, I, I don't know you. Well, I uh, I started my own business, and um, she's seen that I had difficulties doing it, but I made up my mind that I was going to uh, make a success out of it, and I have to some degree. Mm -hmm. And and how did you do that? Again, I, I'm obviously I'm not self-employed. I work, you know, I, I work here. Uh, you had to do something step by step by step by step to make that business successful. What did you have to do? Well, I had to do everything, really. I had to sell the accounts. I had to buy the equipment. I had to hire the people. I had to deal with the complaints. Mm -hmm. And, and, and how did you keep going? Some of that must have been very difficult. I just made up my mind to do that. You just made up your mind and then you're able to, to, to do that. Mm -hmm. And this is something that your wife knows about you. That you're the kind of guy that once you make up your mind to do something, you do it. You take the steps necessary to get the job done. Yeah, I would say so. Okay. I'm going to ask you a very strange question. Okay. Okay. Um, I have a lot of these strange questions. Okay. Let's say, after we talk, do you and I talk, and you're going to go home and do whatever you do, uh, rest of it today, and you know, nighttime comes, and I hope you're going to bed clean, okay? Well, we hope. Yeah. Um, 
And when you are sleeping tonight, in the middle of the night, a miracle happens. And a miracle is the problem that got you to come and talk to me today. Just solved. Just like that. Okay? All the problems you don't, not feeling good, not having jobs, not wanting to die, uh, not wanting to do more drugs and no more drinking, all of their problem is solved. But because this happens in the middle of the night, you have no idea this has happened when you are sleeping. So when you wake up tomorrow morning, what might be the small thing that you will notice that will make you think, hey, maybe there was something happened during the night when I was sleeping. The problem is gone. I'd, how could you how could you tell? I'd feel a lot better like, physically. Okay. It's like when I'm drinking I wouldn't have a headache and woozy and everything. So that will be gone. Yeah. Okay. And seeing straight and Okay. Feeling good. What will be there in place? In its place? instead of woozy, hazy feeling, what would be there? How would you feel different? I'd feel healthier, stronger. Healthier. And more confident about my abilities. Okay. Okay. All right. What else? What I'm else? sure as, if my grandmother would see me like that, I'm sure oh, she'd be right. proud. She would be proud? Yes. See How me. could she tell? Because she didn't know that the miracle happened either. I mean, she can see if I'm not stumbling over anything. And okay. Wake up, up and talk to her, have a nice conversation with her. Okay. So she could tell from your speech. Yes. And you what? Sit up straight. Yes. Yeah, kind of talking about. Uh -huh. Okay. What else? How could? Uh, how else could she tell? Aha! Problem is solved for Terence. Yeah. Even our conversations, it would be more direct than any, not anything about what I did drinking last night or all right. the bad people. I, okay. Basically, I came in, went to sleep, woke up, and was off it for her. Okay. Okay. So suppose she sees you this way, that you look healthy, you look confident, you feel better, you sit up straight, and and so on, and you sort of have a normal conversation, not about why did you come so late, that kind of stuff, but normal conversation. What would she do different that she didn't do this morning, for example? I don't know. She might, for once, actually, her feelings would be good for me. She'd be proud. She would be proud of me. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, even, that might even help her in her health and everything, knowing that I'm going good and doing everything right. She won't have to worry about me okay. every night, hoping I come home. Okay. Won't read about me in the paper or something bad happened to me or anything. Okay. Okay. So that would be good for her also. Yes. To see you, your problem doing is all good. gone and you're doing well. Uh, she loves you very much. Yes, right? she does. Uh -huh. Sounds like you love her very much too. Yes, I do. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Wow, you, you're very close. Yes, she's uh -huh. been with me for a long time. Uh -huh. right. She's tried to help me through this problem, but... Right, right. And what has she been trying? I mean, what has she been doing trying to be helpful to you? She's been basically talking to me, hoping I can get help. Uh -huh. Trying to get me to get help. Uh-huh, okay, great. So... So what will be different between you and your grandmother tomorrow morning when this problem is all solved? Hopefully we'll just be happy together and mm. Mm -hmm. hope that she'll be happy too with me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and clean and sober. And uh -huh. Right. So it sounds like uh, she is such an important person in your life. Yes, she is. Uh -huh. Right. Okay. So you will be happier together. You will talk about normal stuff. Uh, she will be happier. 
you feel good, she will be proud of you. Those kind of things that will go on between the two of you. Yes. Okay. Okay. What else will be different between the two of you? Just our whole life will be a lot better. Whole life will be better? Yes. Okay. I figure, I mean, if I can go out and get a job, All right. then I'll be able to support myself and not have to go to her and beg for money or anything. Ah. So that will make you feel better and more confident. Yes. You're being able to support yourself. And, uh -huh. Okay. And you must have had some jobs sometime? Yeah, on and off I have a couple of jobs. Uh, like at a burger place I'd have a uh, job. That kind of job. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want that for the rest of your life? Not for the rest of my life. Maybe if I can get clean. I can go to like school or maybe finish and get a GED uh -huh. and I can help myself maybe get a better job right. or even go to college. Yes. Wow. Uh -huh. So you have some very good dreams for yourself. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And would that be part of a, all this after this miracle? Would that be sort of a part of a, what will be happening for you down the road? Mm, yes, it will. Uh -huh. Go back to school. Go back to school. Get my education. Right. Okay. So where did you learn all this? What, I mean, about having this kind of dreams, kind of this kind of ambition for yourself, and wanting to improve your life, and all this stuff. Where did you Where did you learn this? It's through some of my friends. I mean, I've seen them grow up, uh -huh. and right now, some of them are in college right now. And they're oh. making it big or doing anything, doing what they wanted to do. Uh -huh. And they've basically gone away from mm -hmm. those old kid games, and I'm still here struggling. Oh. So you want to be like them? Yeah, seeing uh -huh. them accomplish their dreams and uh -huh. their uh -huh. goals. Great, great. So that would be part of your miracle would be that you will have the same thing that they have. Yes. Uh -huh. I want to come back to this, Terence. What is you are saying? You want to get an education. You are thinking about perhaps get a GED. That will be the first step for you. Um, so, what? What would, do? Do you know how to get information about GED? Well, what I plan right now, I don't exactly know. You don't know. I, yeah. Uh huh. So I was thinking about talking to one of my counselors that I knew in school. Ah, right. Yeah, right. he was pretty helpful uh -huh. sometimes. When I was there, uh -huh. he would help me through different things, uh -huh. like fights I would have and stuff. Right. So I'll need to talk to him, uh -huh. and hopefully he'll tell me what I need to do okay. and where I can get some information about where to go yes. and how to get information. And that kind of stuff. Yes. Great. So that would be the first thing you would do tomorrow morning then? Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Great. Great. And so, so you get an information from him about what is that you have to do. I'm not sure, but I'm not too familiar with GED either. So, what will your grandmother notice different about you that will tell her? Hey, Terence is 